We're short on water, we've got three days supply left and we have five days till our next water stop off. So we have two days where we need coconut rations. Let's swim in, mate. Be quick, mate, there could be salt water snappies. Um, just bring any machete, eh? We'll have to be pretty quick because that tide's dropping fast. Watch out for Bitey! Oh, yeah. yeah man, there's actually a few good ones up there, right? Seriously tasty, yeah. Oh, Jack, boat, boat, boat! Hold it out here, eh? Yeah. I'll get the nuts. The, boat, the anchor just pulled. As the tide's dropping, the waves are getting bigger and the wind's getting bigger, stronger. The boat just pulled and ended up with its ass end on these rocks. Ah, it's the price of coconuts. Hopefully we didn't put a hole in it. Something's wallop me too. Oh, 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 oh. oh shit. What is it, sharks? Sharks are on it. Oh no, get it in, Jack. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, oh shit. Alright, I'll get one up. Alright, alright, alright. Get him up, mate. Ah, Chuck got him. Oh, bugger. That's a shame. It was a little tree, but then two sharks came in and just smashed it. Ended up hooking one of them. Oh, I did all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I kept the sharks occupied while you landed that one. Look how much of a guts that trout is. Like, that is a great trout. Look at the size of that lure. <laughs> On top water. Fuck, that's a good fish. <laughs> Stoked. How wild is that? That's wild. Yeah, man, literally like third or fourth cast. I reckon we back ourselves to get a fish for dinner. It's still early in the day. Should we back ourselves to catch more? Yeah, 100%. Yeah? Got to back yourself. You always got to back yourself. All right, mate. Mwah. It's your lucky day. And away he goes into the clear blue. How bloody good. <laughs> All right, now we need to get some more food. And I need to stop losing poppers. Yeah, you do, because we've only got like six left. Yeah, well. Yeah. We'll find more on the beach. <laughs> no, no sharky. Bad shark. Oh, try to get the lure in. So you can just try to get the lure.
live to see another day, mate. And sharks, grab some real fish, come on. It was shaping up to be a pretty unpredictable day weather-wise, so we prioritised trying to find some clean and calm water because it was about 10, 30, 11 o'clock by this point and we didn't have any food for the day. So number one on the priorities was catching ourselves some fresh seafood for lunch and to carry us through for dinner that night. So Jack jumped in the water. It wasn't too long before we started finding plenty of seafood. It was really encouraging yet again to see how rich the marine life was here and it reminded for us why we keep getting drawn to remote and largely unexplored places. It's a really good sign and a great problem to have when you find yourself, instead of targeting and shooting seafood, you're actually just playing with the fish and swimming past potential meals because there's that many different species of, of fish. Not to mention highly inquisitive stingrays which basically swam over the back of Jack's head when he was lying on the bottom. On the menu for lunch today, coral trout cooked in vinegar with Grandmother Mary's sweet chili sauce. If you see this, Nun, thank you very much. With a bit of soy and some lime. Can we get some wraps, Jagger, as well? Yeah, mate. How is it, mate? Kind of tastes a bit like the cast iron pot. <laughs> Damn it. Mm. So vinegar, cooking, and cast you know, iron like pot, not great. <laughs> vinegar cooking, killed it. Yeah, tastes a bit like the oils from the cast iron pot, from the grill we did last night. Yeah, shit, eh? It's not like, like, it wants to be great, but it's just not. You know what I mean? It's not as good as I thought it would be. But the flavour's there, it's but there's just like the that, underlying... That extra flavour? Um, there's a little bit of flavour you don't want in there. I guess we'll try again with lunch tomorrow, eh? Or dinner with this high fish. I'm just gonna put a bit further. Oh. Turtle tracks all over the island that have come up to nests, no doubt. I don't blame them, because it is a beautiful spot if one was to lay a few eggs. Here's another resident, which has come out of the scrub on this island, back down to the water. Little croc, probably six foot, five foot, somewhere at the end of the boat. This feels like no one's been here for years. It's just largely untouched, other than a bit of plastic and a few uh, turtles. 
yeah, plastic on the beach and turtles that seem to have been here not long ago. It's really unspoiled. Super special. Oh, look at this, wedge tail. Or is that a um, white-bellied sea eagle, but young one? Hey? No. Looks like a wedgie. What's she doing out here? It's a big metal. Oh, look at her. Hello. Yeah, wedge tail. I'd love to set up a camp. But it's just so damn hot and there's very few places that are shady enough. So, oh, swim it is. <laughs> oh, man, that's good. We could not find a good anchorage. So that means anchoring the boat out a lot further than I'd like to in the deep water overnight and swimming in on sunset when the tiger sharks are feeding in the shallows. Stay here, right? No tiger sharks. Anchor pretty good. Anchor pretty good. Here's the island, home sweet home for the night. Covered in all the turtle tracks that are coming up and nesting and having a great old time here. Doing a bit of a Sand K Island hop for the last few hours after lunch. We ended up picking the final one, not because it's the best, but um, just because it yeah, literally was gonna get dark and to the next patch of land or a half decent anchorage where we can camp. Uh, it was probably an hour or two run, so it'll be dark. So we've pulled up on this little island behind us and we're camping um, just below the high tide mark because the, the high tide isn't that big. Um, hopefully tonight, never know, we could get some green turtles coming up and nesting. Uh, there's just it's a highway of footprints where you can see the green turtles have been over the last few tides, which is really, really cool. Um, the boat though is anchored out 80 to 100 meters off where uh, we are here right now where the camp is temporarily set up, which makes me kind of nervous, pretty nervous, but fingers crossed, nice conditions tonight, and we wake up and all good to go in the morning. But for now, we're gonna crack some coconuts open, have a cray fish curry with rice with a couple of the veggies that we got in the ration pack. Been a big day, um, been a thorough day, a bit of full day full day of different things. Bit of fishing, bit of spearing, and a lot of island exploring. But say we're gonna do it all again tomorrow. Man, that looks good. Mm. Man, that is good. <clears throat> so our water rations are, what do we got, Jack? 20, 20, 10, 55 liters. 55 liters of water, which we didn't realize we'd need so much water, to be honest. Um, yeah, we we thought we'd be probably having three or four liters a day, but it's more realistically like five or six minimum because it's bloody hot. Um, so we've, we've gone and supplemented with a heap of coconuts, so hopefully that um, keeps the electrolytes up and us hydrated so we don't need to, um, to rip through the water as fast. But I'd say the next water stop will be in four or five days, which we, we just should make it there.
pretty solid pieces of garlic in there, mate. Roger that. Oh, geez, it's hot. It's gonna be insanely good. And it's gotta have that little bit of sand too, just so you know that you're cooking up on a sand K. I'll be looking for you through the night and in the morning, Rifle Bird. Alright mate, that curry will be done. Turmeric rice, done. And the day, just about done. Oh, also we don't have spoons, so these are our spoons made out of coconut husk. I figured there was a fair bit of build up for this meal. It took us a couple of hours well all day, if you include catching it. So I'll let you know how it tastes any good. Hopefully it's edible. Mm. Wow. That's so good, Jack. We did good, man. Mum, if you're watching this, we did good. See? We did good. To keep it off the really fine sand, uh, but what we can see, what we've noticed, is there's literally thousands and thousands of mosquitoes just hovering above us, and I don't know whether they're just biding their time, waiting for the sun to set, then attack. All I can say, is I'm real glad last night is over, and we still have the boat. Oh.